Welcome back, viewers. Today, we're delving into the mysterious and often bizarre world of North Korea, exploring some of the craziest laws that exist in this secluded nation. Before we get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more intriguing content. Now, let's get started. One of the most controversial laws in North Korea is the strict regulation of hairstyles. Believe it or not, citizens can only do one of the 28 government-approved haircuts, 18 for women and 10 for men. Other hairstyles are prohibited. This law was introduced by North Korean leader Kim Jong-un in 2013. Surprisingly, he did not include his hairstyle on this list because he wanted to keep it unique, and absolutely no one can dare copy his hairstyle. Men and women have limited selection, and each hairstyle is associated with a specific age group. In North Korea, you need permission to live in the national's capital city of Pyongyang. North Koreans need permission to live in the capital city. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un wants only the most successful, wealthy, and influential people to live in North Korea's Pyongyang. The capital city is generally made up of people loyal to the regime and the wealthy. One of the most shocking laws is the three-generation punishment. If anyone commits a crime in North Korea, not only he or she will be punished, but also their grandparents, parents, and children. This terrible law creates a climate of fear and surveillance within the society. Foreign movies and songs are not allowed. Watching foreign movies or listening to foreign music can send North Korean citizens to jail. There are only three channels on TV in North Korea, and all content is controlled by the government. All TV and radio sets come pre-tuned to government-approved channels. Owning a radio that can pick up signals from outside the country is considered a serious offense. This is a reminder of the isolation many North Koreans face from the outside world. Before we continue, if you are enjoying this video, please don't forget to hit that like button to help this video reach more people. You can also leave a comment below to express your thoughts about North Korea's laws, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Fashion enthusiasts, brace yourselves. Wearing blue jeans is considered a symbol of Western decadence and is strictly prohibited in North Korea. The government views blue jeans as a cultural threat and a potential influence from the outside world. So, if you're planning a trip to North Korea, make sure to leave your denim at home. Disloyalty to the supreme leader of North Korea can lead to the death penalty. Behavior such as falling asleep during a meeting with Kim Jong-un is considered disloyalty to the leader and may also lead to the death penalty. According to reports, in 2015, North Korea's defense minister, Hyun Yong-chol, was gunned down for behavior such as falling asleep in Kim Jong-un's presence. North Korean citizens are not allowed to leave the country without permission. I know you are wondering why North Koreans are faced with such dire laws, but they don't flee. Well, they can't do that. Any North Korean citizen is prohibited from leaving the country, and anyone who crosses the border without official documents will be shot by guards. The most severe punishment exists for those who try to escape or hide from Kim's totalitarian rule, and it is almost certainly always death. Apart from North Korean citizens, tourists are also governed by strict rules. Any tourist who enters the country is closely monitored by the North Korean government throughout the trip. Each tourist is assigned a guide who accompanies him throughout the trip. If someone leaves their group or tries to talk to a local, they will be arrested. Tourists are also taken only to certain places and along certain routes. North Korea also has a different calendar called the Juche calendar. It begins with April 15, 1912, the day their dear revolutionary leader Kim Il-sung was born. To add to this, they have their own basketball rules. For example, a slam dunk is worth three points, not two. Two-point shots in the last three minutes of the game are worth eight points. Also, if you miss three shots, a point is deducted. And there you have it, some of the craziest laws in North Korea. It's fascinating and sometimes alarming. If you found this video intriguing, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. As always, thanks for tuning in.